So it looks like we're nearly ready to start the lineup tonight. Um, as you can see, there's a few ships already re ready to be reviewed. We're just giving people lots of time. So I'm going to try and break my thing. Please don't break my thing. I haven't finished. <laughs> and uh, yeah, should be starting soon. Welcome back everybody. Today we're at the lineup review. Today is the 6th of March 2015 and we're here on another sunny day in Mushroom Fleet Star Maid. As you can see we've got a whole bunch of ships to go and have a look at. <clears throat> the new format is actually a little bit quicker. Um, <clears throat> I tend to build mode the interiors very quickly uh, but there is no walk around or chat with the builders in these reviews. The reason for that is just to speed things up. And then we can see more ships. There's a stop there, I can see. Some of these ships are placeholder. Um, so this is why I like to take a look at the placeholders before I actually start going around them to see who has what. So we're just going to come back down the line again. I love that Star Made logo ship. It's funny. Great. Okay. And there we have it. So I just put that singularity machine together while we were waiting for everybody. And I think it's time to get started. Okay, welcome back everyone. Today we're taking a look at a ship from Zero Sen, and this is the Sabre Frigate. He is actually here, but we're going to do a full review with him very, very soon. So I would like to get a chance for him to speak to you guys when we take a look around the interior. So like I say, this one is the Sabre Frigate. Lovely choice of colour, nice paint scheme and interesting wedging throughout. It's hard to pull off those sort of really sloped angles. So at a distance you get a quite a smooth shape. Um, also some interesting detailing up at the back here. Okay, with some of Zero Sense trademark uh, design features. I do love that. Underside runway with a fighter dock to it. That is actually beautiful. So I'm loving this ship. Tiny, tiny, tiny little turrets, which don't look stupid, which is nice, don't stand out. So there it is. I'm just gonna take a quick look inside it. And, then I took, and we'll go around and look at the engines as well first. It's got a really sleek profile to it. Green and yellow really works well. Another ship, different type of ship, on another hangar there, another runway or a dock. Beautiful dock as well, doing it in that style. Love the front end as well. <laughs> nice intakes. Oh, I think, has he just de-docked? Yeah, he has. So yeah, there it is, and that one would be the Sabre Frigate by Zero Sen. Okay, so that's our lovely ship to get started with. We are at 1168 tonight, so thank you if you're watching live. Obviously this one is a highlight review, so we're going to move straight on from this one to the next one. So straight away, there it is. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So this one is built by Knight SSA. It says NBS Light Cruiser. I'm getting the impression that this isn't finished. Let me just restart. Yeah, there's a lot of missing stuff on your ship, mate. We don't tend to review ships that are not complete. Because I don't know which way you're going to go with it. And you'll want to bring it back. And we like to see more new stuff. But, I mean, thanks for turning up. Okay, so I'm not going to destroy your ship or anything. He's built this survival, I expect, is probably the main... Yeah, they have. They've built it survival. 
That's why they're uh, bringing it in like this. So it's not quite finished yet because the universe has only been up for three weeks or something. And they haven't finished building it. But yeah, anyway. <coughs> so sorry, Knight, I can't hang on your ship for very long. But here is a ship that was built in survival mode with mining, crafting, and all the rest. So like I say, interiors are usually shown when the ships have been completed. Okay, so who is next? Now this is a lovely finished example, so let's have a look at this guy. Welcome back. So we're taking a look at Phalanxia's Vantage. It's an interesting design, slightly reminiscent of uh, the older popular styles that we used to see, but with much more adventurous lighting, which is fun. I like that he's put the little crystal bits out the back to represent, I guess, his engine trails. I don't know. Um, that's what it looks like. Uh, interesting lighting, like I say. I really like this blue and red contrast on white. It's got a really nice glows to it using lava and crystal for his intakes, or what it looks like. I like this as well. He's got like an energy bond to to keep the um, keep these together, which is really cool. So, like I say, have a look at here. Let's have a look at this real nice, real close. Lots of work with lighting going on, especially where he's using blocks that aren't attached to the ship, and also backlighting and uplighting. It's really nice. There's some lovely styles on this ship. Okay, so let's just take a look at the interior modules. There's a door there. So I'd like to get a full review on this one. We'll have to get in touch, reach out to the builder and ask him to uh, bring it in so we can take a look at the insides. So there it is. Oh, nice little recess there. That's a nice little detail. So there it is. That one, I believe, was the Vantage. I'm just going to double check. What's it called? Uh -huh. The Vantage by Phalanxia. So there that one is. So let's quickly move on to the next ship. This is where I find out that was a placeholder. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> so this is the No Gag Reflex by Dead Meat DOA. And this is a small salvager. Okay. So I guess the joke is this guy gets to eat all the mass all them asteroids up. Um, here you have engines, very nice engines. It's a small design, so you can't do quite as much with small designs. It's got a nice design for the tank here, using the girder block and a bit of lighting. Overall, the shape's quite clean and reminds me of a wipeout ship just with salvage array in between the uh, two front parts. So, yeah, it's really nice design you got there, buddy. Real nice design. Be interesting to see how it does in the crafting races, because we do actually have a number of crafting challenges that people can enter in their salvages. Let's take a look at the chairs. Come on, mate, where's your chair? I'll look at your chair if you've got a window. looks good so yeah there it is again that is dead meat doa in the no gag reflex oh, and his no gag reflex so there it is moving on now to mirage in this medium trader revision one this is medium trader revision one So, like I say, we'd like to take a quick look around all the player ships if we can. We try and do this once a week, but it's been a couple months with Christmas and holidays and uh, various bits and pieces. So, we're going to start it up again once a week. 
A very nice lighting style he's chosen. I like this. I've done this on one of my ships where we have this kind of grill with a recess and lighting back there and let the game do it. I like it. Got beacons running on logic, which is very nice. Turrets look pretty awesome as well. It looks like they might have taken have you taken some damage? Dunno. But those are the turrets. The bridge is looking absolutely amazing. Very nice indeed. Two level bridge with various stations. I'm guessing this must be, is this salvager or AMC salvagers? Some fixed guns. And then running back, I'm guessing we've got mm, docks for more big turrets. And at the back, a hangar. And an interesting engine design. So let's have a look at this. He's not actually straight. Lovely dock in here. He's used all. Uh, it's a little bit gone a little bit overboard on the uh, ingots, but it works. You know, you can read the dock numbers. But we'll save interior for the next review. Just with a, such an obvious door, I thought it's best we'll check it out. So there you are. Oh, he's figured out his ship's not level. Oh, easy there, mate. Hit C. Hit C. He's rolled the other way now. <laughs> Lol. Okay, Mirage. I think he must be waving at me on purpose. I don't know. All right, thanks for bringing it in, mate. It's a very interesting ship you've built. Um, it would be nice to know if you built it in survival, but I guess you can leave a comment for people to know if they're interested in the video when it comes out. So there it is. So moving on to the next ship. Slate Gorgon. So, Slate Gorgon has here the PLC Work in Progress 4. Again, I'm going to call this PLC by Slate Gorgon. Okay. Or I'm at least going to try and name it. It's a really nice ship, in fact. I would say, again, Slate's outdone himself and brought me his best ship. And this is the part where he says someone else built it for him. But I really hope that you built this, mate, because this is actually a really solid ship. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the runway design that runs right the way through it. <clears throat> in fact, I'd like to take a much more in-depth look at this because I can tell you've done a lot of work on the interior. Straight away, you can tell that. So, some lovely details. Nice design overall. Quite clean. It's hard to get those angles, and uh, this sort of pattern here is quite popular for that. So, yeah, well done. Again, ribbed and plated. You can see he's put in a few... Oh, no, wait. They're just shadow. Is that just a lighting error? Hang on. Yeah, it's just a lighting error. Oh, well. It actually works to make it look like panelling. Huh. Anyway. So, there is that ship. So, let's just see. It's the PLC Work in Progress 4 by Slate Gorgon. I'm going to guess it's Battleship, Battlestar inspired, but it's an original design by the looks of it. It's kind of like a battle yacht. This whole trimaran design. Brilliant. Okay, so I am guessing that the Crystal Jumper Parson by Ender is actually placeholder. That's my guess. Well, he's not home. Okay, here we are, and this is Enterprise E. I believe this is a Dauntless. It does look like a Dauntless. 
I'm guessing it's been fully wedged now or refit somehow. Let me just double check the name here. Dauntless System Overhaul. Yep. So it's a full refit on the Dauntless, which is a Star Trek Voyager fake Star Trek ship, I think. They lied about it. If you ask me, it looks like a mushroom, but, you know, because look, right? You've got body. You need to go underneath. You've got the bit under the shroom. Look, it's just a mushroom. Maybe that's how the how they had an enterprise. The Federation knew that they were fit for liars. Oh, for liars. Okay. So yeah, that's that. I guess we'll be catching up with Enterprise very soon to get an update on the progress on Dauntless. Okay. So that is looking really nice, and I can't wait to see how that fares in Proving Grounds coming soon. So what's this here? Prime. Uh, interesting. Prime, huh? Right, so what's going on? No idea. I think that's the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure I haven't spoken to Ender or Prime. 